Well, new law going into effect today. A lot of people talking about this. It changes the rules when it comes to driving and how you use your cell phone when you're behind the wheel. Yeah, now the state bans handheld cell phone use. And while you are operating your vehicle, many WAT viewers will have come to us now with some questions about this new law. Just wanting us to clarify yeah. exactly what they need to do. Well, new at 4 WATE 6 on your side, reporter Laura Holm has been out in search of answers. Laura, explain for us. Yeah, well, I've seen a lot of confusion on social media with everything that's happening and drivers need to remember that you can still have a conversation on the phone in your car. You just cannot be holding your phone or using any part of your body to hold the phone. Today's the day I can see them on their phone texting or doing whatever. It's very frustrating. Tennessee is hands free. I've heard about it and I haven't read a whole lot about it, so I'm not really exactly sure what all the factors in the law are. Going forward, a driver cannot hold a cell phone, send a text, or take a picture on a phone or mobile device. One touch to answer, one touch to end the call. Um, if you've got a phone in the holder, the phone rings, if you can touch one button on the phone, or if you can touch one button on your steering wheel to answer that call, you're fine. As long as you don't pick the phone up, and hold it in your hand while you're having a conversation. Drivers can use Bluetooth through their radio, earbuds, headphones, and a Bluetooth device in your ear. I asked Lieutenant Don Boshears, can you use your Apple Watch while driving? Yes, same principle though, one touch. What if I pick up my phone to uh, get one of the GPS things started. Troopers say you cannot hold your phone and use GPS. They suggest putting on turn-by-turn -turn voice commands as directions. And when it comes to streaming music... The big question that we get on that is, well, I, if I don't like the song that comes on, you know, can I pick the phone up and, you know, change the device to the next song? That, no. Uh, you can stream music. It just, you can't look at it and you can't pick it up. Lieutenant Boshier says the hands-free law is similar to our current texting law. And if you're at a legal stop at a red light, you can, by the law, make a call or send a text. Though it's suggested you find a safe place like a parking lot to pull over. Every case is different. You know, I can't say that there's a, an umbrella that you can just cover every situation up with. That's just going to be on a case-by-case -case basis. Drivers saying it's about time. I think it's a good law. I think it'll help prevent accidents. Now, there are some exceptions. You can call first responders if the case is a genuine emergency. And this law does not apply to certain people while working. That's law enforcement officers and a number of first responders. I'll have much more on that coming up at 6 o'clock. Guys. All right, Laura, thank you so much. And if you are cited for this hands-free law, it's a $50 fine for a first-time offense. That doubles to $100 the third time you're cited or if the violation results in a crash. Also goes on your record. And if you're caught violating the law in a work zone while workers are there or in a marked school zone while the flashers are operating, you can expect a $200 fine. Well, the ban on handheld cell phone use while driving, not the only law going into effect today. As of today, people ordained online are no longer allowed to officiate weddings in Tennessee. Another law makes daylight saving time the standard time in Tennessee. This law will go on the books, but the change would only actually happen if Congress gives its approval. Also, local governments can now allow sports gambling. And another new law bans abortion. It's on the books, but would only have an effect if Roe v. Wade is overturned or there was an amendment to the Constitution. Lots of new laws yeah. starting today. We have a full list of the new laws and a breakdown of what they mean for Tennesseans on our website, WATE.com. So check that out.